Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to navigate the new iTunes, iTunes 11.3. So this is a new update. Um, it does include some new features, including the click and drag. As you can see, I have my iPod. So basically, all you have to do to put a song on is open up your iPod. So say I want to put on this, just click and drag and put it on. Just drag it on top, it will flash, and it will put it on there. So now to get to access your iPod menu or iPhone or iPad or anything else that you plugged in, click on the name. Now this is going to show you through the menu. You have options such as backup to iCloud, this computer, or backup all your passwords and password protect that too. Up here it will give you the name which it is edit you can edit. It'll show you that it's charging, the battery status, the capacity and picture of it. It'll tell you which iOS it's running, it'll tell you if it's up to date and when it will check again. Here you will have the option to check for an update now or restore. Now the backup and restore, you have an option to back it up right now or to restore the backup, meaning you can click on that and then choose a list of backups that have previously been done. And it will use that backup to put that on your iPod, iPhone, iPad, etc. So now once we're out of that, the easiest way to access the iTunes Store is to click iTunes Store. That's a new way. Now you're in the iTunes Store and now there's CoverFlow integrated with the iTunes. So all you have to do is click on a CoverFlow to bring you to that page. And now the new thing is the back arrow which will help you take you back. So now you can navigate right to the Music Store, Movies, TV Shows, App Store, The Book Store, Podcast, and iTunes U, which is just the education and iTunes software. So now you can click right here to go to your library and in options you can go to your purchase, your music, movies, TV shows, and apps. So you can scroll down and you'll see the top songs are right here. And then the top albums are obviously down here. So obviously to get to your library, you can just click library and here you go, you got your library. Now to navigate to that, you have your music, just click on that and here's your library option. So let's go to apps. So then it will take you to your apps. Okay, now you can go up here to your options menu and the simplest way to get help is to put preferences or I'm sorry settings is to put preferences. Now we can go into devices and we have basically every setting you can here. So you could simply just change the name. I want to change that. Change And I want it to sync everything. So now we can go to the advanced. Here's your media folder location. Reset warnings. Warn me if iTunes is not the default player. Keep the mini player on top and keep moving window on top. Show iTunes icon in the system tray. Enable full keyboard navigation that I keep on. So now we can go to the store settings. We can always check for available downloads. Download pre-orders when available. Playback. We can crossfade songs, sound enhancer, and sound check. So this is all for your playback audio. Now we can change this. We can change for video. And now this is just speaker settings. I would definitely recommend leaving that alone unless you really know what you're doing. Now we can go on iTunes sharing. I keep that off, but you can turn on your iTunes sharing and you can make it require your iTunes password. But I'm keeping that off because I do not like that. Now we can go to our parental settings and say we can disable the iTunes store in shared library. Say we just needed to disable that for some reason. You would do it under the parental settings on the preferences panel. We can do the ratings for the United States. You can do basically anything. We can show content ratings in the library and we can restrict basically anything. And we can click the lock right here to prevent further changes. 
So now I'm going to click OK and it's going to ask me, oh no, it didn't, usually it does. Okay, now up here we have our mini player, we can adjust our volume and press play, fast forward, and the rewind cursor. We can search our library here, say I wanted to find this one song, and then it will take me right to it in my list of songs. We can do our up next list, which is a new thing, which plays the songs you wanted up next. So if you wanted to play one song, say I wanted to add this to play up next, you click add to up next. So now it's basically creating a playlist just to play on your computer that will not appear in your playlist folder and it will not sync to all your devices. Okay, now we can go to the view, which I already did go over. We can go to our TV shows, tones, our applications, books, iTunes, U, and movies, and then right back to music. So this was a guide showing you how to use the new iTunes 11.3, and just to prove that it is 11.3, I will go right here to the help and about iTunes where it will say iTunes version 11.03. Well thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help out a lot. Thank you. This is Technology Master signing off.